Want to do virtual production without an expensive camera tracker? Watch me line this shot up. Don't blink or you'll miss it. Click, apply to camera parent, and jump into the shot. It really is that quick. You can do shot after shot with hardly any setup time in between. The only downside is that it only works for static camera shots. Without a tracker, you can't move the camera around during the shot, but an awful lot of content gets produced with nothing but static camera shots, so this is really useful. I'm Greg Corson, and this tutorial will show you just how to do it. If you've followed some of my earlier tutorials, there'll be a link up at the top of the screen to at least one of them. You probably have a composure setup similar to the one here on the right. The important thing is that you have an Aruco tag in your scene, a camera parent, and a cine camera actor, and that you've already done a camera calibration. You only need the distortion part of the calibration. The nodal offset isn't necessary and you can set those to zero. Here's what you need to do to set up a shot. First pick your location in the scene. I want to be standing basically where this Aruco tag is in front of this big fuel tank. Open up your lens file by double clicking it. Mine's off the side of the screen at the moment. Find uh, the media plate that's associated with it and make sure it's connected to your camera. Like that. Then you can go back and to the lens calibrator window. Here you can see that I can go to my studio or to the scene. In my lens file you can see I have a nodal offset over here because I have a tracker. If you don't have one, just go to the Lens File panel, click on Nodal Offset, and click Plus, and add a data point where everything is zero. That'll keep Unreal's Calibrator happy. This is the setup in my studio. I've got an Aruco tag on a board hanging from a monpod, and I've measured the distance from the center of the Aruco to the floor. In my Unreal scene, I placed an Aruco, as you can see here, at about the same height and the same orientation, as the one in my studio. Now I've misaligned the two scenes so that you can see better how this works. You can see the two images overlaid on each other and that the Aruco's from the studio and the one in the scene are not lined up. To align everything, go to the nodal offset tag, click on nodal offset algo over here and choose Aruco markers. And then to get a sample of from your camera of where the Aruco is, just put your mouse anywhere in the calibrator window and click it and you'll see these four points appear over to the side. Now all you do is say apply to camera parent and everything jumps into alignment. And as you can see, now that I press play, everything is aligned and ready for me to go into the scene. Of course, before you start shooting, you'd grab that monpod with the Aruco tag on it and move it out of the shot. And inside the Aruco tag actor, you'd go down to the rendering section and click on the actor hidden in game, which will make it disappear too. That's really all there is to it. If you check out my earlier tutorials on Aruco's and on how to set up an Unreal Virtual Production project for 5.1, you can see how to build this structure from scratch and how to build and print the Aruco tags. A couple of quick tips. You do want the Aruco to be mounted flat on a board like I have it here, and you want that board to be vertical and not tilted. The fastest way to check that out is with a plumb line. I'll show you how I do that. You just hang the plumb line in front of the target like this, and make sure the string and the edge of the target are lined up, and that the string sits flat on the board so that you know that the board isn't tilted forward or back. The gold thing on the end of my string is a carpenter's plumb bob, which you can get at any hardware store, but any heavy weight like a bolt or a nut tied on the end of a piece of string will work just as well. Of course, you could do this by eyeballing it or by taking measurements of how far the camera is from your talent and the angle of the camera, but that takes a lot of time. As you saw here, in just a few seconds, you get the alignment perfect. Looking at my screen over here, you'll see the camera is actually lower than where the tag was, and it's tilted slightly up. It'd be kind of hard to capture that information using a measuring tape, but with the Aruco tag, you get it instantly. This gives you a lot of freedom in how you position the camera. For example, if I want to move to doing a shot out on the street, I just move the Aruco. 
I can slide it out here into the middle of the street. Turn it till it's facing the direction I want. Go to my camera calibrator. Do another click. Apply to camera parent. And my new position and is all ready to shoot in. And that's really all there is to it. I hope this will let more people get involved in doing virtual production now that you don't need an expensive camera tracker. Don't forget to check the video description below for links to my other tutorials on how to set up an Unreal Virtual Production project in 5.1 and how to set up Aruko tags. Also, remember to leave a like if you like the video and subscribe to the channel so you'll get notified of new content. If you have any questions, put them in the comments and I'll answer them as soon as I can. Your comments, likes, and subscriptions help us to get seen by more people on YouTube so I can do more content more often. It really does help. For now, I'm Greg Corson, and I'll see you next time.